do both alone and Kiki today. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do this DIY ombre summer wall art. So I think this looks awesome. And the chevrons just like awesome. And since now is summer, instead of uploading a video every two weeks, I'll upload a video every single week. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for this DIY, you will need a canvas. I got mine at Michael's. Uh, two colors of paint. I'm using, I got these at Walmart. I'm using uh, yellow in the color lemon. And I am also using a lime green. And you can also use white to make it like a real ombre. I'm just making it like two colors mixed together. And you also need a paintbrush. I don't know why I have two, just whatever. Forget about that. And some masking tape. So first you want to take off the wrapper and and after you did that, you want to get your masking tape and just create and this will have your letter on it. So just take your masking tape and my, my name starts with a P as you know, Paul. And so I'm going to put it here. Just make sure it's in the center and also I'm going to get a pair of scissors and here and just cut it and just make sure it is flat so that that way when you peel it off it won't have any paint on it and it'll look awesome and I'm just going to make the P and I'm doing double layer just to make it thicker so my name stands my, my first name letter stands out more. So it's like this. And it doesn't matter if it's like crumbled or anything or like wrinkled because we're just going to peel this off. So I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to make it like a square. So I'm just cutting off the edge. And oops, I messed up there. And here, and just press it down. And now I'm going to do my P. Finish it. shape and I'm just and it doesn't matter if because it's super hard to do round stuff with masking tape so I'm gonna show you how it will look like so now I'm finished and my P looks like this and don't get weirded out by letter name and it should look something like this and now take your masking tape and we're gonna create this chevron pattern. so let's put here so we're just gonna cut. Wait, let me and just figure out the angle you'll like it. So let me put it here. And I'm gonna cut it right here. So it's like that. It's half of a chevron. And now let's put this here. And tape it here. And yeah, we're, I'm just going to keep on doing this. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it. So, so here we have like one chevron pattern and I'm just going to make more. So you put it here. Oh, and just saying, make sure your the angle of your triangle thingy, aka chevron pattern. Uh, is like similar to each other so it won't look like weird because it, it won't look like a mountain because like that's higher that's lower because we don't want it to look like that so put it here and I'm just gonna keep on doing this and I'm gonna come when I'm almost finished so now I'm finished with my chevron powder on my canvas and you're gonna take your paint of preference and I'm using yellow to start underneath and on a piece of paper or whatever and don't put that much I think I put a little too much but it's okay so now take your yellow and I'm putting some on my brush and just paint the bottom and I'm just like painting like here and 
and oh gosh, make sure uh, your uh, uh, what's that called? Masking tape doesn't fall off like mine did. So yeah, and I'm just holding it on and just use all your yellow. And it does. It doesn't matter if you go like off a little bit of your masking tape. Just keep on painting until your yellow runs out to give it that ombre effect. And I'm also painting on the bottom. I think I ran out of yellow and now we're gonna take some green and we're gonna place it on our yellow paint just a little bit I think I put a little bit too much so I'm gonna have to put some yellow on it for the waste of paint I'm gonna squeeze it. and now we're gonna mix that those two together and I'm still mixing it because I want it to be awesome and just take it and then coat, do a second coat and I'm putting more on my brush because I didn't have enough. So I'm putting more. And keep on putting more green to give it that effect, that ombre effect. slightly more green than yellow if you can see and put, keep on putting more green and I'm just gonna keep on doing this off camera because it's gonna take forever if I do it on camera and just remember that don't make don't put too much green or whatever your color is onto it or else it'll make it look really obvious we don't want that to happen. So yeah, I'm gonna see you after I'm finished painting. So now I'm finished painting it and it should look something like this and my hands are messy and just wait until this dries and then I'm gonna come right back. So now when uh, your canvas is dry, just find where the masking tape is and just peel it off and you will, and it will be white and it also connects if you layered it together, like if you know what I mean. And just peel this off, the chevron, and also do not forget about your name, cause I did this once and I forgot about my name, and yeah, it's still on my wall, and right now I'm looking at it, and it's pretty embarrassing. So there you have it, your chevron, and I'm gonna finish peeling it off. So now when you're finished, I, this is optional, I'm just gonna take a black sharpie and outline it. And let me get my black sharpie out. And I'm gonna outline the name of my letter cause that's the thing that should stand out most. And is it me or does this look like super awesome? So let me just outline this. And be sure to outline inside the canvas, not on the paint cause it will look, your sharpie will not work if it's like, on the paint and I messed up a little bit and by messed up a little bit I mean messed up a lot so yeah so I outlined my P and I am going to fix it up a little bit with my black sharpie because I kind of messed up there as you see and let's do the inside There, there you have it, your own DIY summer wall art. I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And shout out to Krishana Matawan. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this DIY, and bye, see you next week.